Last night I was sitting around thinking about some future video ideas for the channel and this popped into my mind. You can let me know what you think about it down in the comments. How about a new addition of videos to the Stuff and Things series called Sunday Gun Day? What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and the first ever Sunday Gun Day on the channel. So let me explain to you my idea behind this a little bit. Obviously in the next couple of weeks, months, maybe a year or so, I'm going to be traveling a lot. I'm not going to be home where all of my guns and things are. Because of that, it's going to be hard for me to keep pushing out content that relates to guns, but I know that's what a lot of you guys want to see. My thought process behind this is that if I set aside one day of every week, it'll kind of keep me in check and keep me motivated to make new content without having to worry about when and where I'm going to be doing it. I'm definitely not going to promise that every Sunday from here on out is going to be a Sunday gun day because I can't even plan my life a week ahead of time, let alone months and a year. However, when the time and situation allows, I will try to bring one as often as I can. I want these videos to consist of shooting and gun reviews and basically anything that you guys want to suggest to me down in the comments. Each week I'll try to feature a different gun, whether it's a gun that I've already reviewed and haven't shot yet, like the one I'm going to show you today, or even if it's a gun that you guys really want to see that I don't even own, maybe I'll be able to find a friend or family member or someone local that will let me use their gun for a review or a shooting video. I've got some ideas lined up for the next couple of weeks, but in the end I'm just the one talking to the camera and making this content for you guys. What I really want this to be a sort of a crowd brainstorm type of video series. You let me know what you want to see and I'll do my best to bring it to you guys. Today is a little bit unfortunate. I'm going to a members only shooting range which means it's not my private land so I can't do anything too crazy and fun and it looks like there's a lot of people here already. I would much rather be up on my family's mountain land shooting obviously but right now we're in the middle of turkey season and we're moving stuff around like I said before we're cutting down trees moving rocks so I'm gonna stay out of there until things settle down and we get like a nice shooting area so until then I'm gonna be coming here I guess. I figure for the first video we'd make it a little bit interesting and shoot some long range with my custom Radical Firearms AR-15 pistol. If you guys haven't seen the video on this yet I'll be sure to leave the link for it right there. I talk about all the mods and what I put into this thing. It's a pretty sweet gun overall though. This thing's rocking the seven and a half inch barrel which is obviously not made for shooting long distance but right now I have two targets set out at 100 yards and we're gonna see how it does. If you're new to this channel you should know that I'm into firearms but I suck at shooting so I'm gonna be shooting with Magpul Embus flip up sights, iron sights, super short radius so it's not like the best thing ever and then also a sight mark. A ton of people have been giving me shit about showing this in other videos. I believe in the video of this gun and then another AR that I swapped it to. I got this as a gift a couple years ago. Still works great. Change the batteries ever so often and so far it's been holding at zero. I've been swapping it between this AR and another and if I mount it back on the same part of the rail it should hold zero just as it was before. I had everything sighted in for 25 before and and I'm hoping it'll be on, but with the trajectory of a bullet out of a short barrel at a distance like this, I don't even know if I'm gonna be hitting paper, but we'll see how it goes. So that was the first misfire I've actually had with this thing, or malfunction. This round went off and then it almost acted like a double feed. It didn't extract this case and then it tried to push another round in on top of it. I couldn't grab this with my fingers, but I pushed a rod through and it came out really easily. I'm assuming it's because I probably have almost a thousand rounds through this thing and I haven't yet cleaned it, but I mean, that's kind of the whole thing when it comes to torture testing a gun like this. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that again, but we'll see. And again. Oh my god. Well, it's only right like something like this would fail on the first Sunday gun day. 
What I'm gonna do now is break this thing down, clean it for the first time ever. I've never cleaned this thing, like I've said. This has about a year and a half of carbon buildup in it. I'm not sure how many rounds. I kind of wish I knew how many rounds I did put through this, but once I get it all clean and put back together, I'll give it another shot. While I'm doing this, I might as well explain how I like to clean my ARs. It's not a really complicated process. I don't really like deep clean everything and take completely everything apart, but I'll just show you the basics. First thing is obviously separate the upper from the lower, take everything apart, just field strip it all. I'm gonna start with just the bolt carrier group. I wanna take everything here completely apart, so I'm gonna pull the pin. Man, this thing is dirty. Pull the bolt out. The extractor as well. I'm gonna take a rag and just clean everything as good as possible at first. And there's so much buildup on this firing pin and everything else, so I'll probably brush them too. Holy sh! I think I found the problem. This is a normal AR-15 extractor and what it's supposed to look like. Take note of this tip right up here. Now this is the extractor on my AR-15 pistol. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this happen. Obviously you can see it in YouTube videos and pictures and stuff online, but this has never happened to me before. You can see at the top there, it looks like a piece of the extractor was just like sheared off somehow. Oh, it's actually broken down here at the bottom too. That makes me a little bit nervous now because I'm not sure what it did to the upper. Small pieces of metal definitely had to come off of this, so I don't know if they were just ejected out of here or if they were floating around inside here causing some damage. I don't really notice any damage, so I guess I'm just gonna replace this extractor, put everything back together in the same carrier group, same bolt and everything, and see if it works. The extractor in here is replaced now with one that I got from another AR that I own. I'm just gonna put a couple rounds through it and hopefully everything will be all right. Well, it seems to be working all right now. The extractor looks all right. Everything in here looks okay. Maybe a couple more rounds just to be sure. All right, well, I guess everything's working out in the end. I can't believe I had an extractor go bad like that. I've never even seen that before. If that's ever happened to any of you guys, let me know down in the comments maybe about why it happened or what could have prevented it. Obviously cleaning it would help, but I'm definitely gonna go inside and give this thing a good thorough cleaning because after everything that has been through, I think it deserves it by now. Sorry the first Sunday gun day started off with a failure, but we gotta show you the good and the bad, right? If you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the future. And that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.